Now that Maya's set up for us, in this step we're going to look at actually getting some modelling done. We're going to make something and we're going to make a room. So what I'm going to do uh, is throughout this tutorial I'm going to show you different ways of doing everything because the thing about Maya is there are about 20 ways of doing absolutely everything and you'll find your own preferred way or the way that is fastest for you. Uh, and I'm going to introduce you to some different ways. So the first thing we're going to do is create a cube and we're going to do that from the create menu. So if we click on create, you can see that there are lots of options here. We're going to choose polygon primitives and we're going to find cube, but there's a setting I want to change before I create it. So I'm going to go to the options box for cube. And what I want to make sure is that normalization, so that tick box there for normalize is turned off. And it doesn't actually affect the way the cube works, but what it does is it um, alters the, the texture space. Uh, and it won't make any difference yet, but it will later when we come to texture in the cube. So I'm just going to turn that off and then click on Create. And then you'll see that we have a cube at the centre of the grid. Uh, the centre of the grid is called the origin, 0, 0, 0. You'll see over here on the right of the screen that you've got uh, the channel box layer editor. And that will tell you that you've created a cube. There it is, P cube 1. And it'll give you all the um, sort of statistics, the, the properties of that um, cube. So you can see that it's placed at 0, 0, 0. The scale is 1 by 1 by 1. And there are a few other things that we can change as well. When you create your cube, it may or may not look like mine. It's likely to look the same as mine because I've got the default um, preferences of Maya turned on. But there's every chance that it'll also be in wireframe view. And at this stage, I'd actually prefer to work in wireframe. So at the moment, you can see we've got this shaded view on, so it's like a, a grey cube, but I want it to look see-through. So there are two ways of doing that. You can either click on this icon here, which is wireframe mode, there you go, or you can press number four on your keyboard, like that. So that's what we're going to do before we move on to the next step, which is resizing the cube. So to resize the cube, we're actually going to work in the channel box for it. And what I'm going to do, because I've got... Um, I'm kind of struggling for screen real estate. There's not a lot of space here. I'm just going to drag this down here just to hide the layers bit. And that reveals this input section and you'll see polycube one. And it's here that I want to change the size and shape of the cube to represent the room I'm creating. So I want a width of 25 and then I'll press enter. A height of 10 and a depth of 25. And that will give you the basic dimensions of the room that we want to create. The next thing we need to do is rename this cube. By the time you've got a full scene full of assets, you could have hundreds and hundreds of cubes. And if they're all called polycube number, you're never going to be able to find what it is you're looking for. So it's much easier to give every object that you create a descriptive name as you create it. So that down the line, if you need to make alterations or find it, if it's hidden or um, maybe there are 500 cubes all close together, you'll be able to find it in the outline. So I'm going to scroll up to the top of my uh, channel box and you can see where it says PCube1. If I click once on that, it then becomes an editable field and I can write um, in there and give it a new name. So I'm just going to call it Room and press Enter. And that now has a new name. It's really important that when you rename something that you remember to press enter. Because if you click it, forget to put a name in, and then um, click somewhere else, it'll keep that as the name of it. And it, it just gets really mad at you. It won't let you um, then use that object or even delete it. So make sure you put a name in and press enter, and you'll be good. Promise.